promise you it's not gonna take long, but I wanna take a moment, even if you all can just stand with us, just take a moment to think about our friend, our colleague, Ezekiel Santiago. I'm here standing before you today for Latino Advocacy Day, but I wanna talk about my brother, because he was more than a colleague, he was my soul brother, Ezequiel Santiago. Representative Santiago believed in issues that uplifted the Latino community, but let's not be shortchanging ourselves here. Latino issues are all of our issues. Ezequiel believed in a livable wage, environmental justice, breathing clean air for our children. Those are the things that he believed in. Those are the things that he fought for. And those are the things that we're gonna to continue to do. And many people say, where I see Ezekiel, I see Chris, and I may have this picture standing here in front of my heart. He may not be physically next to me, but he's always with me in spirit, not just myself, but all my colleagues behind me, because we loved him, we respected him. And he came from a long line of giving himself to the state of Connecticut that he so dearly loved in the south end of Bridgeport, and we're gonna continue that legacy. So welcome to the Capitol. Let's all be like Ezekiel, let's love each other, let's work together, and let's move our state forward. We will continue the fight in his memory. And I know that all of us in this room will keep him in, in our hearts. Because champions like Ezekiel, you don't forget them overnight. You share his old memories and you continue the fight. And that's exactly what we're gonna do.